Hi kids. Okay, on this day in film history for August 18th, uh, start with some somber uh, history. Uh, 1973 was one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history. Uh, went on to be known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre wasn't released till October 11th, 1974, but the events of the film as it says in that opening, um, take place October 18th, 1973. So had to throw that out there for film history. Uh, let's talk to about uh, actual film that was released on this day. Uh, 2006, the release of my grandfather's favorite film. That's right. All of film history, my grandfather, his favorite film, 2006, Snakes on a Plane. Uh, starring Samuel Jackson. This is a film, it was announced, Snakes on a Plane was being developed. Sam Jackson saw that based on the title alone, says, I want to be a part of that, signs on to it, um, based on the title alone. Because it was a film that if he saw that title, it was playing at the theater when he was a kid, he would want to go see it. There's some strength in titles. Uh, so uh, based on that, of course, the budget and everything goes up. And then there's the internet buzz. Uh, Sam Jackson's in this movie called Snakes on a Plane, right? And there's the teaser trailer, get these snakes off the plane. So there's reshoots. Um, and yeah, to meet the expectations of the internet, uh, had a $33 million budget. Snakes on a Plane had a $33 million budget, made $62 million at the box office. So almost a complete success, right? You have to be double. Uh, but yes, my grandfather's favorite film, Snakes on a Plane. Uh, let's go to a birthday, 1920. Shelley Winters is born. Uh, she died in 2006. She's 85 years old. Uh, heart failure. Uh, I talked about her in two films uh, so far. Uh, What's the Matter with Helen? I did in the camp series. And Odds Against Tomorrow uh, was in the film noir series. Uh, she was also nominated Best Actress for A Place in the Sun, which is one of her earliest credited on-screen appearances. Uh, she's also in The Big Knife, uh, Lolita. She's in uh, Roger Corman films, Bloody Mama. She's in uh, 80s action films like Thunder Force. Um, and she, I think her last on-screen performance is Portrait of a Lady. Not a Portrait of a Lady on Fire. That's the title, right? Portrait of a Lady. Uh, Jane Campion film. Uh, yeah. Next up, uh, 1936 is the birth of Robert Redford. Uh, he is still with us. So he is 87 years old today. Uh, started in small television roles and theater uh, before uh, War Hunt. Uh, in 1962 was his first on-screen appearance and then soon after that the roles in the 60s start rolling in. He of course is in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, in The Sting, and All the President's Men. Uh, his first uh, directorial outing is Ordinary People which he won Best Director for his first time directing. Uh, his last on-screen appearance was in 2019, uh, a little cameo in Avengers on Endgame, uh, announced his retirement in 2018, said nothing's permanent, but 2018, that's five years ago, so he was 82. So uh, Redford, uh, probably done for, hasn't directed anything else in quite a while, hasn't Produced anything else in quite a while. Robert Redford, happy birthday. And then we'll do a death to end things. I always end with death. Uh, 2004 is the death of Elmer Bernstein. Elmer, of course, is the glue that holds films together. Uh, no, composer, conductor, uh, born in 1922. He was 82 years old when he died. Um, numerous screen credits. Uh, early on in his career, he was blacklisted, called before the House of Un-American Activities, 
Uh, he had reviewed some music in a communist newspaper, refused to name names, uh, but eventually uh, guys um, like Otto Preminger don't care. Uh, they just want the best people. So does the music for The Man with the Golden Gun and uh, Sweet Smell of Success, uh, Magnificent Seven, To Kill a Mockingbird, so many others. Uh, his last uh, film that he actually composed because he, I think, was supposed to do the music for Gangs of New York. Uh, his score was not um, chosen or placed, uh, but Far From Heaven, uh, Todd Haynes film uh, was his last film that he scored. I think that was in 2002. Um, all right, there's your day in film history. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. See you tomorrow.